start with privilege of the floor number one. Can I take a moment oh, and you can have introduce as many moments as you like. Mary Pelchap, our new administrative assistant upstairs. She'll be working Hello, Mary. With, Hello. with Sharon and Karina. So she started today. Excellent. Okay. Um, and we're excited to have her here, getting okay. ready to find her a spot to sit upstairs. So get the workstation set up. So welcome, Mary. Okay. And also, Brian Sopko is here. Uh, mm -hmm. has started as our part-time IT support person and he had worked for us for exactly two and a half hours and had the Apple uh, <laughs> working on Ustream again so mm -hmm. we're very happy to have him here. Yes, oh, okay. This is a good, good... Uh, Both microphone and camera. Mic yeah, yeah and right. He's got the old white working. microphone working. That's here. right. <laughs> so we are live and on the web. Excellent. So Brian, you're Welcome. you're a student or not? I, I just can't graduated. graduated. You just graduated. Well, congratulations. And are you from the area? From Maryland, actually. Now I'm living up here. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Great. Well, welcome. All right. All right. So that's all I have for privilege of the floor. Okay, great. Why don't we? Uh, I see Tom Take sitting here. Do you have lessons to teach? Do you want yes, us to? <laughs> all right. So why don't we, if we don't mind, let's jump ahead sure. to uh, the update yeah. on the Tecumseh Road sidewalk. Okay, as part of the uh, Snow Engineering Committee to look at uh, revitalization of the valley, I was, I guess, placed in charge of the village sidewalk and uh, I met with Leslie Rose Warren, who heads up the front office there at Village. We walked the site, both sides of the road. I talked with Mark, he mentioned two proposals, one being the seamless transition from the road onto the sidewalk, like in front of the academy building, and also the possibility of, if that did not work, then one-way traffic coming up toward 49. I also met with uh, a couple of the board members, and they felt that uh, in the end, it was best for the town to be neighborly and put the sidewalk on the village property. However, they aren't very, they aren't, do not think that the seamless transition is very safe and they would like to have a sidewalk with curb. And if possible, they'd like it the size of the one in front of um, Windsor Hill, that width. They might be available to having it a little, they might be receptive to having it a little larger. They also asked if it could be staked out for them to look at. Mm -hmm. Do um, they have to take a vote? Uh, no, it was a board decision okay. and they voted to do the sidewalk. Okay. And again, they thought that it would be more aesthetically pleasing and safer if it had a curb. Okay. So they were not concerned about the snow blowing back onto the village lawn and some of the trees are a little low hanging and they wondered about that. And Would that, uh, we, could we do that by just generating an easement from them to us or would the land have to be? No, I think an easement would be okay. Right. Um, I just, I have some concerns about a curved sidewalk. I don't, I don't think that it really accomplishes the bike path type of, you know, where we were looking at a multi-use. Right. That's why we were talking about just extending the pavement edge, basically, mm -hmm. and then striping it and putting the, the bike symbols and the pedestrian symbols be a lot easier to maintain. Um, you know, a curb sidewalk there, I think, Personally, I think is going to exacerbate the the um, public safety problem with bikes because you only have a 15 foot um, travel way, right? Each of those lanes, 11. Oh, 11 feet. So they're very narrow, and if we if we put this curb along there, you're gonna you're gonna lock bikes in even okay, more okay. than they already are. I hear what you're saying. And what I'd like to, to take as a, our next step with this, if possible, mm -hmm. is to get the feelings from public safety okay. and uh, public works on what's feasible, what can be maintained. We don't want to put anything in there that's not going to be maintained. 
So if we're going to put a sidewalk in there, we're going to go and we want to deal with it in the winter as it is a sidewalk. And that, that's just my thought. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, they were delving into the, the public safety end of things. They just thought that with, right. it's a lot busier there and there's some blind corners mm -hmm. down by Valley Inn. Mm -hmm. They just felt, and, and yeah. this was their opinion, that it would be more dangerous because people do have a tendency to whipping around there, to having people there, you know, with the texting, it, you know, can they stray over? Uh, you know, that that was a big concern of theirs. Yeah. Do you have so, any reaction to the one way? Uh, they were totally against that. And and the rationale is some of the um, um, some of the property owners that live on that side come in, take a left. At Realty and go in. Uh, Just go convenience. In yeah. Convenience, yeah. Okay. Okay. And I think that'd be a problem with the forest and old people too. That's a pretty big trek for them to go all the way around the conference center and up. So they they weren't. They did not want that to happen. All right. Well, the, that makes sense to you, Margaret, mm -hmm. to get their, the input from the professionals. Yeah, I think so. And then you start talking about what the cost and what's the best way to do. And a I, lot of, the, again, a lot of the, the, the two exits coming out under right. that road um, that they should just shoot down to town square by Valley Inn and around, now you got to go all the way around. Oh, no, so, I know, I've got you on that. So, so the, the yeah. thought would be that we put, what, the bicycles and pedestrians on the sidewalk? See, that's you what know, I don't know. That's bicycles you can't. You're going to have to put... Right. You're going to have to build a sidewalk for pedestrians. That's and that would eliminate and space out of the bicycles. And then essentially then bicycles are going to have to go on the road. They'll be in the road. Yeah. Right. So and we got an 11 foot And we're going to have to somehow away. get those roads slowed down to where people are going 20 miles an hour right. on them because the bikes are going to have priority. Right. right. But I think with signage and education, you know, we'll get there. But I, I, I'd, I'd rather have it come from Chris and Mr. Mayhew over there, as, as far as what works and what doesn't work, doesn't work, excuse me, than from just my thoughts, because I don't know the answer to the question. Mm -hmm. And I, I would rather be... And now, the thought on the pedestrian thing is, in the winter, we would clear this sidewalk? If it's just a well, pedestrian that's sidewalk, said. that's the next question. Are you we going to clear it or are we going to... Oh, well, that's my, my question to you is, do you want this to be a cleared sidewalk? Well, that's that's why I want to talk. Get Jim's input on if can it be maintained, and well, can we can complete a network of things that we can maintain, you know. If but what do you want? I'm asking you guys. Well, I you know part of it do, is I it's what uh, is a committee work. There's right. a committee that's working yeah. on. So part of it is what would they like to see path wise. Okay. Yeah. You know, would they like mm -hmm. to have a you know? So part of my question is, would they like to have a loop? If so, draw me the loop where they want the pedestrian to go. Be right. able to go, yeah, and then answer the question. You know, in their minds, is this a year-round thing, or is this uh, no? Okay, in the yeah. winter, that's we're not going right. to worry about it, right, or right. yeah, you know, okay. what's the story here? Mm -hmm. the I don't thing think is that's that us. All our sidewalks aren't built for bikes and pedestrians. Right, right. No, they're all right. the same size. They're all small. They're all small, and, so and got a little strip where, okay, we have a couple that you know you could get a you can get a bicycle and pedestrian on them. But to, to me, that that the problem with that is that can get even what tends to get on them are you know people that aren't the best bikers in the world. And, right, right. You know, and they're probably gonna. I, well, I'm surprised we haven't hit it. I, right. I don't think we've hit any pedestrians yet, but we easily could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't see a lot of bikes on that stretch either. But if we're gonna try to but, convert ourselves, where bike. It would be a more accessible to bikers thing because we would map it out and plan it as part of your experience here. So let's. So I, I think I, I think I would like to see you know can can someone take a map and identify our goal is to get these loops for right. both walking and these loops for biking so that we know what it is we're shooting. That's in the pedestrian study. Those You're are saying they're, are they're already the, there. Well, the that's fine. Well, let's take them. a look at the map. The, yeah. the maps right. are there. I, the map. I think this first conversation was to see how amenable the village mm -hmm. people were to joining us in this endeavor. Mm -hmm. Now that we know that we there's not going right. to be a, an enormous obstacle there, that the core group, once they know that that's there with the input of public safety and public works, 
right. can come back, and then we can figure out. Well, mm -hmm. it's just one of the pieces. It's not right a be all and end all thing today. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're amenable to a curbed sidewalk. Not right. necessarily. Yeah. They, that's their their first choice is a curbed sidewalk. Let's see if we can come back to them and say what we can't do is curbed sidewalk because, and these right. are the reasons okay. why we can't do it. Okay. Yeah, I I would assume that the reason we don't want to do a curbed sidewalk is a lot more expensive. Well, and harder to maintain. But well, we no, I I know what Mark's saying. We yeah. only have so much space there, no that's matter right. how much that's we go, and if we're going to keep the bicycles in the street. It, not on the sidewalk. We're going to have to have a, a narrow sidewalk a, a to curbs, allow the bike lane to come in. To a it. curved sidewalk is not a multi-use path. No, right. It can only be used by the pedestrians, or right. should only be right. used by right. pedestrians. pedestrians. And that's why we were looking at a multi-use path. That's what's in the plan, is right. for a multi-use path, which is why we were talking about Simply so what was in the original edge. plan was a path Multi that would be a combination of bicycles and pedestrians. That's correct. Right. Without a without a curb, it did not have a curb on it. Okay. Yeah. But well, but now but once we have some once we have we a starting have, point. Exactly. And, and we can go back and explain. There. We would love exactly. to give you your curb, but the curb right. does not work. If yep. we are told the if curb doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, great. Well, thank you, Tom. Yeah. And, th and thank the people of Village for. Yeah, uh, well. Yeah. So let me know if yeah. you want me to do anything more with them. Great. Okay. Great. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Great. Let's go back up to the top to the approval of meetings. Minute meetings. Yes. The 22nd, Margaret, that's going to be you and I. Yeah. I didn't see anything. I, um, I did not get a number yet from Memorial Day for the Recreation Department, um, but she had a great weekend. Boats were extremely busy even with the with the hurricane force winds uh, mm -hmm. on Saturday um, people bizarre, were just lined up it yeah was. it was it was a, <laughs> just amazing. three o'clock in the afternoon all of a sudden yeah. giant wind came Boom. yeah absolutely um, and the the um, the derby was also very very mm -hmm. well um, do we know how many 145 That's which cool. was 145 people or fish crew? 145 <laughs> participants participants yeah. okay good and they did a great did job that compare is that comparable it, it to was what up we've from last year mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah and the fish size was up because the yeah. third place fish would have won every other derby did you see the picture of the first place fish? I did not see the first 42, It was a 42 inch kid with a 21 inch fish. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, it was big. Yeah. 21 and a half yeah. pounds. So. Inches. Or inches, inches. sorry. 21 and a half pound oh, trout. No, that 21 and a half inch <laughs> trout. That would have eaten the kid. He would have been, yeah. He would have been. Uh, and I've heard the Chowder Fest actually set a record. Chowder Fest. Chowder Fest was over 600. Yeah, almost 700. Yeah. So a very good weekend. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, those revenue numbers will be um, reflected next time. Um, expenditures, we're doing, we're doing fine. Um, insurance is uh, just the uh, payment schedule. Yeah, same thing uh, with medical. We're ahead in medical. Um, we have paid for a couple of things, 100% um, for equipment and all of that. So that's why we're ahead there. What do you mean equipment? Um, just materials and stuff that they that they purchase through the year that they have paid okay. it, it's not a, a scheduled thing one twelfth of the year through the All year. Right, so do they buy and anything also, out, of, out of the ordinary or is it no, just no, that they no. have to buy it's a box the, of something instead of one? It's budgeted okay. items and we also have paid our um, uh, fees for Lakes Region mm -hmm. for dispatching. Okay. That's a hundred percent Um debt service and interest, it's the amortization schedules. Oh, yeah. So other than that, we're doing okay. Any questions, anybody? No. no. All right, let's move on. Department heads. So I think we'll go directly to public works. <laughs> <laughs> um all's quiet, I guess. Um I don't have too much to report. Um we're just uh, just kind of getting into the summer mode. 
we're, we're still waiting for estimates uh, for a beam bender in the sewer line of what it would cost to yes. do that work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. To yeah. me, always that, that that's the number one priority right. mm -hmm. so that we understand, you know, because I'm worried about where we're going to get the money to do all yeah. of this, depending on what it is we need to do. And so. whether we can get it done before it freezes again. Well, we're going to get it done before it free freezes again. One yeah. way or the other, that yeah. cannot, we can't go through another winter of like, you know, the last, we have, particularly the water line. I mean, there's, poor Seth Lolo has been up there like this for years. I mean, this is just yeah. not. Um, did they start over in Windsor Hill? Not yet. Okay. Well, we've ordered, we've right. ordered, we'll order materials. materials. Yeah, there's some stuff up there. I, I know. Yes. I know that the mobilization has started, mm -hmm. and yes. I know that the contractor is just trying to uh, yeah. finish up everything, other little jobs that he's got going, and then his yeah. plan is just to come in. And so the the plan right now in the water line is that we're going to go ahead and one what examine the water line and then decide whether or we're just going to outright replace it. In Windsor Hill? In yeah. Windsor Hill, we're just going to replace it. It's been repaired at least five times right. since Jim and yeah, I Yeah, I, I just don't, I, I'm so, always just struck by what happens if you take all the material off and you look at it and say, oh, there's nothing wrong with this. Well, yeah. I guess that could happen, but I'm not. I'm not I'm suggesting not it's likely. Yeah, but that it's likely. <laughs> so. I think I think the the real issue is, and it's been my experience on each one of those breaks. It was not so much a material problem; it was an installation problem. Right. Okay. So they're going to start soon. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not trying. I, I, I I'm not sure if he's starting the end of this week or the beginning of next. He's just doing other projects right now, trying to get right. those done before he comes in. But he has, his contract with the Condo Association is to be done before the 4th of July weekend. Okay. okay. All right. With their Peter, so. so. Can we talk a minute about trash? Sure. I went, I, I, was, I was down this morning trying to get rid of my recycling, and there is, again, as I suspected when I came down, that there'd be no room in the recycling bins, which there was. There was no room in any recycling bins. The, the, the issue to me, you know, and I know in the write-up sure. you talked about you getting quotes on fence and everything. Right. You know, but, yeah. the, 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 to me, the issue is what, how are we going to run this thing? so that that problem doesn't happen. That's what I'm interested mm -hmm. in. I, I, whether it's fenced, not fenced, it's, it's how are we gonna shuffle, move containers, what are we gonna do to, you know, and I don't know, all I know is I can't get trash in the side door. I have no way to know, they could be half full of those containers as far as I know, because right. I can't lift that back bin right, to, right. to throw right. anything in there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's understanding how we're gonna manage that differently. Mm -hmm so that we can significantly increase the capacity. Because although that is a busy weekend Memorial Day, mm -hmm. yeah. it's probably, you know, the fourth or fifth busiest. Right. I mean, it's not the peak peak. And, uh, and even so, we were, um, I mean, the only thing I could say is we didn't have it strewn all over the pavement. But, but uh, yeah, let me expound on something you just said. I'm kind of surprised that with the history we have, that we didn't put the manpower and effort into knowing what this was going to look like this morning and why this wasn't, you know, the first priority was to get dumpsters out there that could be filled and get them emptied and maybe change up the schedule a little bit because it's, it's consistent. It's every holiday. We know this. And, we it, have and mostly staff. recycling. Yeah. Trash seems to be okay uh, mm -hmm. generally, but the recycling just fills right up. And whether it's because we, you know, we can't open those top lids or whether the corrugated is fouling it up. That the issue to me is trying to figure out how we can manage that setup right. differently so that that problem doesn't happen. Now, are there any dumpsters that we could have bring down and pull these out of the way and, and until they're ready to be dumped into the truck to be moved? We, we don't have. We may have one or two backups. When I mean, the problem yeah. is, there's nobody here on Sunday. You know, it's, he could have done it this morning, 
but right. but he's but got nobody there on trash Sunday. Day, so, so I'm assuming there are people came yesterday had no room to put stuff in. But your your seems to be recyclable. You, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, el yet the problem is, is elsewhere on the route, it's trash. It, it's trash. Okay, yeah, and that's partially because I suspect all the recyclables get in the trash bin in a lot of the condos, you know. Okay, well, anyway, just so but, you but, hear my... But you, you are correct. That's the it? issue we got to wrestle, you know, and it may take some time to figure this out, <laughs> a way to do this. Okay. Anything, Margaret? Well, I just, I, I was out there, which <laughs> is why I was late for the meeting, but I found if I flattened my cardboard and put things in one at a time... Yeah, or you could, you could stuff <laughs> them in. You <laughs> could stuff them in. There's space in there. It's yeah. just not apparent when you open up. Yeah. And, and, and it was only one of them you could do. That well, the problem is, is I come yeah. with the nice blue bin yes. to right. on me, and I can't. Yeah. The problem yeah. is, yeah. I've got to then go reach in and take it one at a time and stuff it in. I'm not yeah. doing that. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to throw it in the garbage. Right. <laughs> right. I can't dump it. Is right. the well, our, yeah, and our idea was to have a couple of additional dumpsters there when we have the controlled area and the staffing right. there. At the appropriate time, but it's still we can move it's it around. still not going to speak to the problem that if you rely on using the side doors and people right. come with that blue bin, mm -hmm. when it's half full, you can't dump the bin anymore. Right. So you don't want. So the question is, how are we going to get that back door open well, in a when, way that people can do it? Can staff, dump when we have staff here. Yeah. We're going to open up the dumpsters because there won't be bear issues and all mm -hmm. of that. We can open up the front. People can use the front or the side doors. Then, before staff leaves, they'll close everything up and make sure that it's bear proof. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we we will have well, a mechanism talk us to be able that. to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. But the thing is, are we? Is it going to be affordable to set it up? And that's what we're waiting to get the numbers. Okay. Well, we hope okay. to have that for the next meeting. I, I hope that we will. Okay. Great. All right. All right. Uh, I guess we can go to public. Anyone else from Public Works? All right. Public Safety. Uh, fishing Derby was a huge <coughs> success. There was 150 <laughs> anglers that caught 105 fish. Oh, he even knows how many fish. Well, that's the how many fish did fish. you put in? They put in um, five, about five hundred. Oh, so there's four hundred left. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> there was yeah. probably a few more caught than one hundred and five because that's ah. the, that was what was registered. Gotcha. Yeah. So after they catch five, they stop registering right. them. So there's probably a few hundred left in there. Um, but it was a great success. Good. Um, even the wind and weather was a little bit cold, but other than that, that was it was good. Um, also, we heard from um, Dennis Regan from the FBI. He will be here on June 12th and June 19th. The 12th and the 19th. Okay, and both are, Fridays. Ha have we notified the condo associations particularly that are affected by this? Are they aware? Of this? Did they they get a just, we, just we just found out. Well, I understand, but you have a way, you're going to do that or mm -hmm. some way to do that. So, so they'll be available, uh, he'll be available for people to come in and, and talk and ask, ask questions and um, go over all of the, the stuff we're holding. What is do you, what's his preference? Does he would he like to have a meeting of twenty five people, or does he rather take them a couple at a time? Or? It depends on the topic, I guess. All right. Um, I think a lot of it's going to be individual association um, discussions. Um, I don't think that. I mean, he may have a forum. But like I say, this is all brand new. He said this is this is when he's going to be here, but maybe he'll have a forum. The first day he's here for the first couple hours he's here to, to go over or you know just a briefing maybe right and then make, make a schedule um i don't know but we do know well we should uh, you know at some point in time can we uh, help him you know can we help if we take a condo association at a time and we notify them and say you know please contact us so we can assign a time when you can come in mm -hmm. i'll see Could what we dennis, do that i'll see what dennis sure. has in mind okay Whatever he would like. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, you want to you want to make sure his time is yeah. used appropriately. Okay. 
I'm glad he's going to take two days, and they're most of the day. Yeah, yeah. In on both weeks, yeah. so. Do you think he could prepare a paper for us to hand out to those who haven't been able to get to these meetings? Something like we a, that's like a synopsis of yeah, something we can publish from their letterhead, their perspective. I'm that sure, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll ask him. Yeah, great. Anything else? That's about it. Everything nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. Some uh, rescues. I saw the Hummer out on the. Yeah, we went up to Tecumseh for a uh, ankle injury, um, and luckily enough, they were right on the ski trail, so we could drive the Hummer right to them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they were on the ski trail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They were on the upper bobbies. Yeah. Um, so that was easy. Um, but the whole weekend we only had three calls and one was in Canton. So mm -hmm. it's been great. It's been, it's been pretty great. Excellent. Anybody else? All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, admin? Uh, no, other than the new folks. I have a question. Well. Have we discussed Tech of the Rec? Has that been brought up yet? That we have talked about that, yes. All right, when does that start? <laughs> I don't have a date yet. <laughs> I've got a computer that needs. <laughs> well, just bring it in and Brian will get you squared away. Just kidding. No, but we, yes, okay. we have discussed that and we'll, that's on our list of things to get started with. Yeah. All right. I know Brooke and Christine ask us about it all the time. All right, future selectmen's meeting. Uh, you want to know the calendars? June 10th is the next scheduled meeting. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. Yep. Okay with me. Mark. Yep. That's good to me. All right. Great. And we're, we're going to we discussed it at the last meeting, Margaret. We're going to go as into the summer as an as needed. Mm -hmm. month. At each meeting, we'll decide okay. you know what we have coming up and decide whether we'll go to every other week or just once a month. Right. Does that work for you? That works for me. Excellent. All right. New business. We've talked about the sidewalk there. Emergency access to e emergency easement uh, access easement to Windsor Hill. Is this going by the right property? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I provided you with copies of the easement that we have that the town holds across that yes. parcel. Right, and I read it. And yeah. Well, go ahead. And also the letter because back in two thousand nine, when Mary purchased the property, um, she asked to um, have the town indemnify her as much as we could, I guess, um, because people use that other than the town public safety department. Uh, people use that easement uh, to get from New Peak to the back parking lot of Windsor Hill. Mm -hmm. Cars, pedestrians, etc. And she was worried from a liability standpoint um, about that traffic. Um, and there was some discussion at that time about maintenance of the easement area. And uh, she asked specifically about plowing and we told her that we were not going to plow it. We never have plowed it um, because even though we have that easement, if we're plowing it, we would end up plowing private land um, because when you get to the end, you have to put the snow somewhere. Right? So told her we would not plow it uh, and we were amenable to putting up, I believe we said in the letter that we were okay with putting up the signs, um, but that other than that, we really couldn't control traffic across there. Did we put up the signs? Um, well, we <laughs> may have put up the signs, but, but they are not there, there anymore. <laughs> so There's we no do need signs. to go back and put signs up. And I What's, it what is, it, 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 especially, what is Mary's issue? Well, right now, the reason that it came up again is because she heard about the Windsor Hill paving. Right. And, and, and she wants it less to be paved. Yes. To be repaved. Why? And, but why? 
uh, because paving is going on and we have this easement and we have some sort of maintenance. Is, 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 there, is this responsibility? Does she use this to get into her yeah, driveway? Yeah, that's her landlock. So she wants her, she basically wants Has to our cut. easement paved right. so she can get to her driveway or am I misstating? No, no. She wants the, the road is in not great repair. It's not in great that? repair. But the road that she uses to get to her driveway is not in great repair. That's right. correct. And the, we got the it. easement road. Yes. And we maintain that easement. We provided signage that says it is not, not a public access. It is a private road, mm -hmm. and we are just to keep it safe for fire for, for the fire trucks to go through. That's correct. So she's trying, asking us, while Windsor Hill is being repaved, if we would repave our easement over her property. It's and not paved now, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because there one time it was but gravel. But it's breaking up, and it's right. it's yeah, not in great shape. One time it was shape. gravel. One, at correct? one time it was gravel, but it's been paved since before I got here. But when it was originally put in, it was gravel. So what's the? Can you give me a little bit of the history of this? I mean, mm -hmm. was this easement exist before Mary built the house, or mm -hmm. was uh, that yeah, that was, road's yeah. been here for a long time? Yeah, I think Bill Gorewood. Gave the town the easement, 1985. 19, so, so the road was there, so she, when she built so her house, she, said, well, I'll just connect no, no, the she thing. bought the house. Remember, the Gorewoods built the house. Well, yeah. I'm back to right. when the Gorewoods built yes. the house. Mm -hmm. what, what was the, st where, which, which it, came it first, was the gravel, house or the easement? It was a gravel easement. But was the house there when the road was there? I think was That's the my question. What came first, the house or the road? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would say that probably the easement was there uh, a little bit before the house. So, so you the think the road existed before so the, the house was So built. that the truck could get into the back side of Windsor Hill. And, you, and your guess would be My that, that the road was that there before the house was built. Or pretty, or very close to concurrently. Because I'm wondering, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, and I, I just thinking what I would do, and I'm saying now, I'm gonna connect my driveway mm -hmm. to a easement. So to an easement. Yeah. I mean, it just <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't sound very permanent. I, you know. Well, I think because it was, it was probably Bill that granted the easement originally, right? No, the easement was granted by the Waterville Company. Waterville oh, Company. By the Waterville Company. So yeah. Yeah, I can so call over the office before. and find out when the house was built. I can ask someone to look that up. Well, so the easement was there, and like then the person who built the house decided can that they, they were going to do is just the connect their built. driveway to an easement, yeah. not to a road, but to yeah. an easement Yeah. for a mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there's also a water line through there as well, and I'm not sure what date the... So there has to be some sort of... It was probably all done at the same right. Right okay. time. Now, now we got a. Now we got a. So we've got. So if we allow this to deteriorate, what's well, Mary do? You replace the road at her expense? What 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 do we see as the answer here? Well, well, I'm we just are, talking hypothetically. Easement, I mean, our easement requires us to keep it clean and passable. For a sixty-six thousand. For a sixty-six thousand. Right. That's why I'm asking these questions about no, the I, house. I you know, in right terms there. of what was the understanding when somebody built the house? Did they did they fully understand that they were connecting to a dirt road? Well, that's what we'll find out in a second. <laughs> we can find out which way it was right. I mean, that's bizarre. And also says that the use of the property will not unreasonably interfere with the use of the remaining portion of the easement. I don't even know what the heck that meant when I read that sentence. Did property. you know what it means, Margaret? <laughs> I, I hear it. It sounds like legalese, but it's... The house was built in 97. Oh. So the house was built after later. this. Yep. So it was built years. later. Mm -hmm. And someone gave them, basically, I, I mean, Donald must have been, would have been here, said, yeah, okay, you can connect to this dirt road. This, I guess, this dirt road was a private dirt road owned by the Waterville Company. Right. right. Which they probably did to get into the back of I don't Windsor know. Hill right. and to put That's the water line there. That's probably why okay. it was there. All right, now I understand. And then they just granted it as a, I don't an, know. Ease, a, an emergency 
access easement. My, my problem is with the town agrees to maintain the fire lane and keep on a year-round basis the fire lane in a clean, passable, and safe condition. Right. And I, <coughs> you know, is it clean, it's clean passable, and, and safe? passable and safe right now? Can 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 we? I mean, it's it's for it's supposedly a fire. In other places, we have fire lanes where we actually have gates, don't we? No. No, we don't have any that have a gate. I thought we were talking about over we here. We were talking about that for uh, Green Peak. Green but Peak, we did not yeah, but we that. didn't do it. No. Okay, and we don't have one, and we don't have many other places. Because no, I'm because assuming the there are other there are, I'm, I'll bet there are, there are a fair number of people Windsor Hill uses. Yes. Right. Oh, every day. yeah. Right. Every day. Because it's the easiest way in and out sure, of Windsor right. Hill. And yeah. this is a management company. And it's right the, the shortest the route. The shortest route is the way they'll go. Yeah. It's always yeah. the case. And and. The only other fire lane that we have like this is Stone Tower Lane. But we have public roads on either end of that, so that plowing it is not a is not an issue. Because we don't go onto private property to plow that. Who plowed it last one? You do Who go onto private property. When you when you plow Stone Tower Lane, you're plowing private property. We don't own right. that right away. No, but we have, we have an easement. We have an easement only. We have an easement. We have an easement. That's correct. Right. Yeah, but we don't own physically own the land. We we own about half of it. We own. Oh, okay. We, we actually own, own half. About half. I didn't. I didn't think yeah. we owned anything. I thought yeah, the we, property line came down to the no, center it, of the it comes yeah, down the, dirt. There's yeah, a, the problem on, <laughs> on this easement is that we got public property on one side and private on the other. That's yeah. right. See, and, and yeah. you can't. You you can't physically go into the Windsor Hill parking lot to dump the snow. So now, in, in, in researching this, Mike, we have to figure out who who's owns been, right. well, the driveway. Who's been plowing? We've got an that's easement. That's what I'm trying to Who, who plowed it last Hickson plowed it. Hickson plows it. Yeah. And he plows it as an agent snow, of Windsor Hill? Yeah. And snow, and snow, and stone property management used plowed plow. it. Okay. For, because they were going into the Windsor Mary. Hill. No, they were going into Windsor Hill. Oh, into Windsor Hill, Hill, right? But Mary right. Get, gets the benefit. But Mary got the but benefit. And I don't know. If she. We don't know them. who actually owns the property. The property is Mary's. Yes. The property. Well, Mary is owns Mary's. the road. That's, That's correct. But does easement. Mary own the road, or does Mary she, have an easement to use the road no. from the Waterville Company as well? I don't she, know. No. That's my question. That's, That's my. That's <laughs> when you look at her property line. Okay. She owns the. She owns the whole lot. Mm -hmm. The road. Is an easement over Okay, that so she lot. bought she bought the law the road with she the easement. She bought the road with the easement. Right, that's correct. With an yep. easement to us. That's correct. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Well, it sounds to me like it's her responsibility to maintain the road. Yeah. No, it's our man. Our it's our responsibility to maintain it, not rebuild it. If it gets to a point where it's condemnable, condemnable is that the word? Where it's not passable, where it's, where it's not passable, passable or safe. Then we, then it's our then responsibility should, to bring it up to that's correct. A, a point of passable and safe. And right now, Jim, it's, it's passable, passable and safe. And safe. Then we are. Then it, let me ask you another silly question: Do we need this thing? Does the town really need this access? I think you should ask that to Chris because maybe right. we ought to just get out of this and give up a reason. And then we don't have to worry about it. We say, look, we're giving you. Can we get a fire truck through in the winter, <laughs> Windsor Hill, to the, those back units <laughs> when it's all parked up? And well, I think that's. Let's what ask I have Chris that question. Yeah, I, I ask Chris. I, I, you know, does mm -hmm. does he want us to try to maintain? Because it seems at some point in time, knowing the way things happen in this, you know, we're going to get stuck fixing this thing. So if we don't want yeah, to, no, no, we're going to do it. We ought, I, I we think ought, it's, we it's, ought to turn Arisman yeah. in. I guess we could do that, right? Yeah. Turn it in. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're <laughs> going to actually do nothing on that now. <laughs> right. And that, if, we, if we gave up, okay. the, if we gave up the easement, though, that would certainly upset a lot of people at Windsor Hill. Right. I think so. Yeah. Because I don't know who they would have to I, see. They'd who have what, to well, what, who around. owns the property from Mary's driveway back to Windsor Hill? See, we have to really look at. You're right. Mary the, owns the whole, whole thing. thing. She does. So yes. the corner of the, the Windsor Hill parking lot to. So she could, she, she could. She could prevent. She could prevent the people from Windsor Hill from using going over her property. She could put yes. up yes. a fence. 
She yeah. could. She could she extend could, She could fence. erect a fence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should ask the question about her easement because maybe that's the answer to Mary's but she can own the land again and she can do with the road as she pleases. I think we need to talk to town council about that. Yeah, don't forget the water line. Oh. Well, the water line I don't think is covered by this easement. This is From what I can tell, it's just road. This particular this easement, this is right. but we easement. have an easement in the same area right. for the water. Right. Yeah, well, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. But I think that the, the, the gist of what we're saying is we don't have it in the budget and we're not prepared to repay it while no, we're doing we're that's, not that's the other type of time. Right. right. Do, do we need to make a motion or a vote on that or anything? No. No, I, I, I don't think that's fine, okay. but I just, that's what I needed to, to okay. know. I can call her back and Great. And that Tell basically that. we're taking the position that it is in it, clean, passable, and yes. safe condition. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. At this time. Yeah. And All right. Is right. that something we should be putting on a list of maybe things? Now, Mary is pretty do. astute. She must realize that all these people from Windsor Hill are yeah. using her property. Yeah. But she's thinking well, that's why she asked us in 2009 to, well, that's what that there. second yeah. letter was about. Which was to block it. No, well, no, to indemnify her. Indemnify her or block it or take some action to prevent people from going across her land because she understands that. People are using it outside of our. She has to take the action. Yeah. Well, she can't take action which would prevent us from she, using it. No, but we, so, I bet Chris would, would say there is a fence that he can, you know, in the event of through. an emergency, mm -hmm. he can drive through. Sure. And she could put up that kind well, of I fence. I think that's what we talked to her about in my letter. I'm guessing she has a right to do that. Uh, as long as Chris can get through it. In an emergency. Well, we didn't want to put a barrier because we talked to Mary about putting a barrier. Yeah. But it would make winter maintenance impossible. Impossible. Well, she'd have to Even pick up winter her. maintenance yes. now. So, so that was one of the things. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's move on. I guess. Got it. Uh, public works projects. How are well, we doing? Just you already kind of discussed some of them. What about our well and our well the pump building? And we could get a plan. We would. We hopefully will have a plan soon. Oh, is there an a issue? Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. I mean, it's just getting waiting for the engineers. The, the engineers to give us the drawings so that we can say yes, we're good with that. So we can put it out to bid. And you know, we need to. Right. This is for the pump out. house. We're the pump house, yeah. the construction of the pump house, and the, the connection of the line to the system. Because remember, the line's sitting there. It's in the it's in the ground. It's just not connected yeah. to anything. Yeah. Right. Is is the well pumps and stuff in place? And the electrical and all that? No, that's no. that's will come that's with the, the piece building. That's missing. Yeah. That'll, that's the piece that's missing. And, then we're and the engineers are working on this. Well, let's get a let's at least at the next meeting. I, I would ask Mr. Chairman that we ask for an update at yes. least in the okay. engineers and when well, they expected to deliver the plan. I thought we were going to. We're have running one out of time. I thought oh, we were yeah. going to have one today. I I did too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was as surprised as you are that we didn't. Right. I, I thought we would have. Some. I don't want to be. I don't want to be doing yeah. this in December. Yeah. You, you're not the only one. I know, I know. I know. I said, you don't know. I know. No, we've, we've been bugging them. We've been calling them about every other day. All right. And anything else with public works projects? Not that I can think of right now. <laughs> All right. Any, anything coming up? Road patching? Road not until tree work? Grass uh, cutting? No, not until... Uh, leach removal? We make, we make some type of... We see where we sat with the Windsor Hill project, the yeah. waterline project, and then we see whether or not we want to continue on with Jennings Peak and Moon Peak. Or that, that's the question. And yeah. for that, yeah. we right. also need information uh, on what it's going to cost to fix we, we're not gonna the do sewer line. We know what it's going to cost to fix the sewer the line. The sewer line and, 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 the, and, and the water line up absolutely. a little bit. Right. Okay. All right. Any correspondence? No. Thank All right. Do you want me to write you a letter? Um, but it, but <laughs> uh, we, will, we, we do have stuff in your mailboxes if you would like to stop on the way. All right. Privilege um, of the floor number two. Yeah, they all left. All right. Board concerns and directives. 
And anything in non-public? I thought we had a domicile request. No, nope, no domicile this time. Right. Uh, Anybody have? Well, we did have one that was pending. Uh, the person has not completed the lease, mm -hmm. so as soon as she does, uh, she'll be in. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there any other business before the board? And can we have a motion to adjourn? I'll so move. And we have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.